When you reach for your breakfast, do you like pouring some milk into your cereal? Or do you like a warm bowl of oatmeal? We all have different tastes, but for a diabetic, the choice might come down to which is the healthier option. Which can spike your blood sugar? Which might add weight to your waistline? Stay tuned, because we're about to start a showdown. It's cereal versus oats. One has 10 times more sugar, and one is more filling, but with fewer calories. What's the difference between steel-cut oats and rolled oats? Also, just what exactly is a cereal anyway? If you thought the differences between oats and cereal weren't that big, prepare to be shocked. First, do us a favor and give this video a like. While you're at it, subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. You'll be the first to see our latest content to help you in your diabetes fighting journey. Also, be sure to stick around to learn how you can win two amazing gifts. Now, it's time for the showdown. It's cereal versus oats. Which is better for diabetics? Okay, let's talk about cereal. Cereal consists of the edible parts of a grain that comes from cultivated grass. When you eat whole grain cereal, you are eating its endosperm, germ, and bran. The bran is the outer skin, and it's a good source of fiber, B vitamins, and antioxidants. The germ is its embryo. It has protein, minerals, healthy fats, and more B vitamins. The endosperm is what provides the germ with food. It contains complex carbs, protein, and some vitamins and minerals. Because whole grain cereal tends to include the entire contents within grain, cereal, by default, can be considered to be healthy. Whole grain cereal has plenty of vitamins and minerals, and it's a good source of energy. But did you know that cereal, technically, isn't just found in the breakfast cereals aisle? Cereals can be included in breads, cakes, and other grain products too. Not all cereals are created equal. By now, it should be common sense that many breakfast cereals aren't that good for you. But why? To find that answer, we have to look beyond those grains and investigate what else they're adding to your typical breakfast cereal. Many top brand cereals are infused with artificial sweetening agents. As food scientists create these products to be appealing, especially to kids. That means some of the worst offenders in the cereal aisle are based on cookie and candy concepts. So yes, Plenty of breakfast cereals are overloaded with processed simple sugars. Plus, while any cereal has the ability to be made from whole grains, the most popular brands tend to be made from refined grains. These highly processed grains have the beneficial bran and germ portions removed. What's left is something with fewer nutrients and a much smaller amount of fiber. Whole grain natural cereal can provide positive health. Just make sure the brand you buy is listed as containing 100% whole grains. Make sure to check the carbohydrate and added sugar contents to avoid those more processed and highly refined varieties. But you can still have your cake or sweet cereal and eat it too, instead of relying on food corporations to add unnatural sugar spiking sweetness. You can add natural flavor yourself. Try including a small portion of fresh fruit or a dash of cinnamon to your whole grain cereal. Three strawberries do contain about five grams of sugar, but they'll give you two grams of fiber and only 32 calories. One medium-sized banana does clock in at about 110 calories with 15 grams of sugar but it also supplies 3 grams of fiber and 450 milligrams of potassium. Potassium is essential for muscle, heart, and bone health, and low potassium levels have been linked with an increased risk for developing type 2 diabetes. Cinnamon is one of the most nutrient-dense spices on the planet. It's a prebiotic, which aids gut health. It's been shown to help lower blood pressure and glucose levels. Regular cinnamon consumption has even been shown to lower the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. What about that milk? 
You probably can't picture your cereal not being drowned in milk. But this morning ritual is a main reason your cereal might not be particularly healthy. Why? Milk can make its way into a healthy diet. However, it is loaded with fat and can have a high sugar content. One cup of whole milk contains about 150 calories, 7.5 grams of protein, and over 12 grams of sugar. But milk protein is considered to be a healthy source of fat, and the sugar content is in the form of lactose, which should raise your blood glucose more slowly than other forms of sugar. Plus, dairy has the ability to supply other beneficial nutrients, from calcium to vitamin D to potassium. That said, overdoing your milk content will add a significant amount of calories, fat, and carb content to your morning meal. Therefore, it's best to keep the milk to a bare minimum. Instead, try switching from animal dairy to plant-based milks, like coconut, almond, cashew, or even, yes, oat milk alternatives. These varieties of milk will have a far lower carb amount. Just make sure you choose the unsweetened options. Even better, try replacing your milk with unsweetened Greek yogurt. Natural Greek yogurt will supply prebiotic and anti-inflammatory benefits to your morning meal. What should you look for in your cereal? To get a picture of how much of a sugar spike that cereal may give you, weigh the carbohydrates amount against the fiber amount. For example, one brand cereal may contain 25 net carbs, but 14 grams of fiber. This means that it will give you 11 net carbs, which isn't too bad. But an added sugar-laden dessert cereal might give you upwards of 25 carbs, but only one gram of fiber. This means that you're getting over 24 net carbohydrates in one serving. Therefore, fiber is key. To find a healthy cereal, look for one that contains a healthy quantity of fiber. Fiber slows the digestion process, which helps your body gradually introduce glucose into your bloodstream. Without a good amount of fiber, you may find that certain cereals will give you a very quick and extremely unhealthy blood sugar spike. The Health Benefits of Cereal Keep in mind, we're talking about whole grain cereals here. So forget the notion that any cereal is, as the food companies like to tell us, part of a balanced breakfast. However, true whole grain cereals can give you many health benefits. Number one, they can keep your heart healthy. When eaten as part of a healthy diet, whole grains may lower your risk of cardiovascular disease. The fiber within whole grains has the ability to lower your LDL or bad cholesterol which may reduce your risk of heart disease. Number two, may help you manage your weight. The high fiber content within whole grains tends to be filling and has been shown to reduce in between meal appetites, meaning some whole grain cereals can help you avoid unhealthy snacking habits. Number three, they may improve your digestion. Once again, due to its fiber content, whole grain cereals may be good for your digestion and can increase bowel movements. That's a good thing. Increasing the frequency of healthy bowel movements aids your gut health by replacing bad bacteria with good bacteria. Number four, they may reduce your diabetes risk. It's true, a longitudinal nurses health study published in the British Medical Journal found that participants who regularly ate whole grain cereal had over a 20% reduced risk of developing type two diabetes. The whole grains within these cereals may work to improve insulin sensitivity. Whole grains have been shown to increase metabolism, reduce inflammation, and lower fat mass, which can all add up to positive benefits for those worried about diabetes. In the end, cereals that are made from whole grains can be filling, tasty, and a good source of fiber, vitamins, antioxidants, and other beneficial minerals. With that said, make sure to pick your cereal carefully. Read over the nutrition labels and avoid those sugary dessert junk food cereals. So that's cereal in a nutshell, or hum, box. But what about those oats? Are they actually a healthier breakfast option for you? Stay tuned to learn the truth. But first, 
Congrats on making it this far. You've just won your two gifts. Discover an entire world of diabetes fighting foods with superfoods for diabetics. And learn in-depth secrets from some of the world's leading medical professionals with episode one of that diabetes documentary. To receive both gifts, simply click the link in the description below. Now it's time for oats. So what is an oat exactly? How is it different from cereal? Well, both cereal and oats are grains. However, the oat, or Avena sativa, is its own plant, while cereal is made from refined wheat grass. Therefore, unlike whole grains, oats don't contain any gluten. But just like whole wheat cereal, oats are high in fiber and have various vitamins and minerals. Another key property of oats is their high protein and fat content. They sit at about 15% protein at their dry weight, which is a higher percentage than most other grains. Oats are grown with husks, or an outer jacket. However, even after the husk is removed, the inner oat will still contain fiber and other beneficial nutrients. Fiber is still the key. That's right, just like cereal, oats are high in fiber. In fact, 11% of oats are pure fiber. Half a cup of dried oats contains approximately 8 grams of fiber. They contain both insoluble and soluble fiber, but the majority is the soluble fiber beta-glucan. In fact, oats actually contain more soluble fiber than other grain products. Soluble fiber can aid your digestion, increase your feelings of fullness, and suppress your appetite between meals. Meanwhile, insoluble fiber can help to reduce your bad LDL cholesterol levels. Oats contain good starch. Of course, oats are high in carbohydrates. About 66% of oats are carbs. And half a cup of dried oats will supply you with approximately 51 grams of carbohydrate content. But most of the carbs are in the form of starch. Yes, starch can raise blood sugar levels. However, the majority of the starch within oats are what is known as resistant starch. Resistant starch is similar to fiber, as it slows the digestive process and can improve gut health. In fact, resistant starch won't significantly raise blood sugar levels. Oats are antioxidant rich. Oats contain a high amount of antioxidant polyphenols, which can decrease inflammation and protect against oxidative damage. In fact, they contain a specific type of antioxidant called avine anthermides, a soluble compound found almost solely in oats. These antioxidants may help protect against heart disease, colon cancer, and even skin irritation. Oats are nutritionally dense. Oats contain beneficial folate, iron, and zinc. They're also loaded with vitamin D1, otherwise known as thiamine. In fact, half a cup of oats contains nearly 40% of the daily recommended intake of thiamine. Just half a cup of oats will also supply over 40% of the daily recommended intake of phosphorus and a whopping 190% of the daily recommended intake for manganese. Research has revealed that type 2 diabetics tend to be deficient in manganese, and this nutrient plays a key role in the production of insulin. Therefore, oats can be a powerful weapon in improving insulin sensitivity. All told, natural oats are amongst the most nutritionally dense foods on the planet. Not all oats are created equal. When looking for healthy oat products, you'll want to make sure they come from natural, whole grain sources. Which leads us to the big question. Steel cut versus rolled oats. What's the difference? Both steel cut and rolled oats contain about the same amount of carbs, protein, and fat. But the similarities pretty much end there. Steel cut oats are less chopped than rolled oats. The steel cut variety has a chewy texture and a nutty taste with a rice-like appearance. Steel cut oats stay firm after cooking, as they don't absorb as much liquid as rolled oats. Rolled are more cut, which allows them to soak up more liquid than the steel cut variety. So rolled oats tend to be the type used in the more processed oatmeal products. Plus, steel cut oats contain a higher fiber amount than rolled oats, but at the same time, steel cut oats will contain fewer calories than the rolled version. 
and the larger fiber counts within steel-cut oats will cause them to take longer to be digested, as compared to rolled oats. Simply put, steel-cut oats are less processed, and are therefore a healthier choice than rolled oats. However, many people buy prepackaged rolled oat products, thinking they're making a healthy choice. That's why it's important to know the difference when you buy your oats. So, for those worried about diabetes, steel-cut oats may be a better option. However, rolled oats can still give you positive nutrition, and may be a healthier option than most cereals. The Health Benefits of Oats Number 1. They help fight obesity, diabetes, and hunger. Their high fiber and protein contents can slow the digestive process, and can keep you feeling full in between meals. Plus, the combination of fiber, protein, and anti-diabetes nutrients within oats can help lower glucose levels and improve insulin sensitivity. Number 2. They're heart healthy. Like cereal, oats can be great for your heart. Their beta-glucan fiber can help reduce that naughty LDL cholesterol. Number 3. They're good for your skin. Oats can fight dry skin, and they may help to reduce inflammation as well. It's no wonder. Many people take oatmeal baths to reduce skin irritation. Number 4. They're packed with vitamins and minerals. Like cereal, oats contain various beneficial vitamins and minerals. They're especially rich in manganese, which can improve bone health, reduce inflammation, and may increase insulin production. Number 5. They are gluten-free. If you have a gluten allergy, or are just avoiding foods which contain gluten, Oats could be a great addition to your diet. So, in the battle of cereal versus oats, who wins? It's got to be oats. Let's make this clear. The nutritional values can vary depending on which specific cereal or oat product you eat. So yes, both options can be great for your next breakfast. But in our opinion, oats are the clear winner. Here's why. On average, oatmeal has 50 plus fewer calories per cup when compared to whole grain cereal. While both contain carbs, whole grain cereal has 35 net carbs per cup, while oatmeal has just 23. Eating oats can help you feel full for longer than most any cereal. Oats are more nutritionally dense than most cereals. And they contain several amazing anti-diabetes, anti-inflammatory, and anti-cancer properties. So there you have it. In the battle of cereal versus oats, go oats. Goats. Get it? Both options have the ability to give you positive health, but oats do have the edge over cereal, especially if you're used to reaching for those highly processed, sugar-filled dessert cereals. Choosing what's for breakfast can be challenging, so we hope this video has made it just a little bit easier for you. But we want to know, what do you consider to be the best breakfast choice for diabetics? What works for you and your body? Share your story with us in the comment section below. And be sure to keep an eye out to grab your two free gifts. Just click that link in the description below. We'd love if you liked this vid. Also, why not subscribe to our channel? We're Diabetes Smarts, and it's our mission to bring you a world of diabetes fighting knowledge. Thanks for watching. We hope you're having a happy and healthy day.